Hello children, I hope you are all happy and safe. Welcome to this special English hour. Here every day we will be learning something new in a fun and interesting way. Are you ready to have fun? Then okay, please join me in a dance. Monster here, monster there, monster, monster everywhere. Hmm, I think this invisible monster wants to play with us. Come on, let's see if the monster wants to play with us. Monster, monster, can you roll and clap? Monster, monster, come on, roll and clap. Monster, monster, can you jump and touch your toes? Monster, monster, come on, jump and touch your toes. Did you see that? He is playing with us. Monster, monster, can you tap really fast? Monster, monster, come on, tap really fast. Monster, monster, can you clap? around. Monster, monster, come on, clap around. Wow, this was so much fun. Monster, we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Children, now let's read a very interesting poem. The title of the poem is Baby's Dress. If you have a textbook, please open to page number 62 and point to the words as I read. If you don't have a textbook, please see your TV screens and listen to me carefully. Children, let's read the poem Baby's Dress. Children, what is it that you see here? Yes, it's a soft cloud. What is it that you see here? It's a blue thread. What is it that you see here? These are flowers. And what is it that you see here? It's a baby's dress. Come, let's read the poem. Baby's dress. Baby, baby, bless her. How shall mummy dress her? The summer cloud is not too proud to find the soft wool to dress her. The blue bell is a true bell and will find the blue to dress her. Children, in this poem, the mother of a little baby looks at nature for inspiration to dress her baby. She looks at the soft summer clouds and thinks of making a soft woolen dress for her baby. Then she sees the blue bell flower and thinks of making 
a blue dress for her baby. Children, what do we see here? This is a cherry tree. What color are its flowers? They are pink in color. What is this? This is a baby dress, pink in color. What is it that you see here? These are lilies. And what is it that you see here? This is a white dress of a baby. Children, what is it that you see here? These are green leaves. What is this? This is a green dress for a baby. Now come, let's read the poem. The cherry tree is a merry tree and will find the pink to dress her. The lily bright will find the white, the beautiful white to dress her. The leaves in the wood are sweet and good and will find the green to dress her. Then she sees the pink cherry tree and thinks of making a pink dress for her baby. Then she sees the white lilies and thinks of dressing her baby in a white dress. At last she sees the green leaves and thinks of dressing her baby in green. Children, what is this? This is a honeysuckle. It's a type of flower. And what is this? This is a baby's dress. What is this? This is the sky full of stars. And what is this? This is a baby's dress. The honeysuckle with buds for a buckle will make a girdle to dress her. The heavens hold both silver and gold in the stars and they will dress her. W. B. Rands Then the mother sees the honeysuckle flower and thinks that it would make a nice buckle for a dress with a girdle. Then the mother sees the sky full of stars, stars like gold and silver and then thinks of dressing her baby in a dress with stars of silver and gold. Children, the little baby's mother takes inspiration from nature to dress her baby. She looks at the flowers, the leaves, the clouds, the stars in the sky and takes inspiration from the colors and from the texture. Children, nature has been our teacher for years. It inspires us for many things and it's important that we keep seeking answers and keep seeking inspiration from nature. Children, I hope you all like this poem. Children, while reading the poem today, we learnt lots of new words. Come, 
let's try to understand their meaning and frame small sentences using these words. The first word is Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary means happy. Rina and her friends had a merry time at the garden. People made merry at the party. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is a flower. I have many honeysuckles growing in my garden. Honeysuckles are pink in color. Buckle, buckle, buckle. A buckle is a loop at the end of a belt or the strap of a shoe. The mother helped her baby buckle her shoe. I fixed the buckle of my belt. Girdle 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 A girdle is a kind of belt around the waist. The new dress had a girdle. The mother stitched a girdle for her baby's dress. Heavens, heavens, heavens. Heavens means sky. The sun rose in the heavens. The heavens look beautiful at night. Children, I hope you liked learning these new words and understanding their meaning. Children, let's do an activity now. In this activity, I will give you a few colors. You have to write down where do we see these colors in nature. That means which natural things have these colors. Okay? Let me give you one example. If I give you the color yellow, where do you find yellow in natural things around you? We can find the color yellow in the sun, in honey and in a sunflower. Right? So children like this, you will see colors on your screen. You have to write down natural things that you find around you in that color. Okay? Come, let's give this a try. Children, I hope you were able to find natural things in these colors. White, lily, clouds, cotton, swan, all are white. Blue, blue bell flower, blue berries. Ocean, sky, all of them are blue. Golden, 
stars, sunflowers and daffodils are golden. Silver, stars are silver. Pink, lotus, rose, orchids are pink. Children, I hope you like this activity. Children, let's do an activity now. In this activity, we will find rhyming words. Let me give you one example. Bless, dress. Children, you can go through the poem once again and write down the rhyming words that you find. Sounds easy? Come, let's give this a try. Children, I hope you were able to find the rhyming words. Come, let's have a look at the words I found. Cloud, proud, blue, true, cherry, merry, bright, white, wood, good, suckle, buckle, hold, gold. Children, I hope you found these rhyming words. Children, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. It's now time to sit back and relax while I tell you a wonderful story. Children, can you please take a look around you and tell me which are the trees that you see? You may see a neem tree or a mango tree or an asopalav tree. There are many different varieties of trees around us. Okay, can you tell me the birds that you see around you? There are sparrows, there are bulbuls, there is a kingfisher, there are crows, there are pigeons, there are lots of birds around us. Okay, now can you tell me, is the land flat everywhere? No, there are hills, there are mountains, right? Some mountains are made of sand, while some are covered with snow. The weather across the land is different, right? Some places are very cold while some places are very hot. Okay, children, can you tell me the different water bodies we find around us? There are ponds, there are lakes, there are rivers, there is the sea and there are the oceans as well. And do you know there are many creatures that also live under water. Nature is a beautiful marvel. There is life everywhere in different forms, in different shapes and in different colors. Today I would like to to read a story for you. The story is titled Colors of Nature written by Bulbul Sharma. Children, have a look in your garden once and tell me, do you see a butterfly? I see one butterfly, blue in color. 
waving its wings as if it's saying goodbye. Do you see something humming over the flowers? I see a yellow honeybee sipping tea from a cup. At my home, I see a red fish in a dish. In my garden, I see a green frog hopping around and playing with a brown puppy dog. In the garden, there is a small pond. In the pond, I see an orange duck wishing me good luck. Oh, and what is this thing moving on a flower in my garden? It looks like a worm. Oh no, it's a green caterpillar. A green caterpillar on a violet flower. I see a grey and black cat sitting with an orange hat. I see a grey and brown mouse hiding in a house. I see a red and black fox wearing purple socks. Now on the grass, I see a green grasshopper reading the black and white newspaper. I see a black goat sailing in a red boat. I see a green and brown crocodile giving me a big smile. I see a black and blue snake eating a piece of cake. I see a red and yellow hen writing with a pen. In the jungle book that I read in my garden, I see the tiger, orange and black, standing in the water. I have never seen so many beautiful colors in my books. I have found all the colors in nature today. Children, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. I would now request you to please make some time and make a list of the flowers that you like. Children, Till we meet next time, please take care. Bye-bye and stay safe.
Thank you.